All right, so we're here to do a product comparison, kind of just to test amongst both. Uh, here, uh, the difference in decibels. If I had to guess, I would say there's a, anywhere from a five to seven or eight decibel difference between both. You can definitely hear it. Um, I mean, right out of the box, I hate to say it, the Predator is definitely assembled better. The plastics are sturdier, they're less uh, scuff resistant. Um, it obviously has the hour meter installed. Um, gives you an idea of the wattage you're, you're pulling and using. I had to install my own hour meter, which is on another video on my Westinghouse, but I mean, you can see a couple things. You can see there's no erosion here just yet, obviously, because it's brand new, it's got 15 hours, but the Westinghouse right out of the box. I mean, it's already got corrosion all right here. I mean, it's a brand new unit. Shouldn't have this kind of shit right out of the box, but that's why we're doing the video so everybody knows. Um, both obviously have electric start. <sighs> this one has the push button start and it has the meter to uh, determine uh, how much gas or how much fuel has in it. So but we're gonna fire both up, give you an idea what both sound like uh, with no load and then both of them with a load of almost 2000 watts, which is our microwave, which is pretty big. But you can see here, Right about 46, 47 decibels with no noise at all. So let's fire the Predator up right now with no load. About 72 from four or five feet. We're gonna go to 20 feet where I have a little mark here. About 62 from 20 feet. Very quiet. Very, very quiet. And then here's the eco mode, just uh, with no load. Definitely a difference. Fire this unit up. And how quiet it is. Almost a five decibel difference between both, which is noticeable, but it's not, it's not a make or break point. Like I said, five, maybe six decibel difference. For the eco mode. Fire up the Predator and give it a 2,000 watt load and uh, see if uh, the difference sh the difference should be about the same. I mean, it's going to be like I said, a five six decibel difference. Um, it wouldn't be a make or break point for me uh, between both units. I mean, with this unit, you get a significant more wattage. Uh, even you know, obviously you can't use all the, the 4,500 watts because it's peak watts. But still, um, if I had to, as of right now, if I had to put my money in either or, it would. It'd be the Westinghouse, but they, they, they both have their flaws right out of the box. I mean, I know there's choke issues with this one. There's 
an issue with this one where they're putting a breather on the side of the vent. Um, thankfully, I've I've had neither on on neither of them. I haven't had any problems. Although with the Predator, this is this has been my third unit um, to try to get one that's that's actually run the way it should out of the box. watts it's about as loud as it's gonna get sixty five sixty six decibels I mean, it's, it's great we hear it now as it makes the transition pulling 19 1950 almost 2,000 watts and we have a big microwave Four to five decibel difference from just idling and running to 2,000 watts with the Predator, which is, I mean, it's great for what you're paying. Might as well use the remote start when you have it. about a 50% load. I mean, it's, it's about right. It's 2,000 watts. Sixty-eight, sixty-nine. so there's a five decibel difference between both. see there was a solid four to five decibel difference on both of the units from just idling to 2,000 watts um, I mean there's not a big difference you know I, I, I would say if I had to uh, if I had to spend my money I mean when you get the Predator on sale you get it for $6.99 um, obviously I would highly recommend the extended warranty as they don't really question you you know for returns or whatever the issue of the problem may be um so you're, you're you're pretty close even even with this unit i've seen them for 949 which is you know it's, it's a little bit more money but it's definitely worth the extra bit of money um i mean you get you, you get almost a 
another thousand watts of you know a thousand running watts to be able to use um so if i if i had to put my my money somewhere i would uh i definitely stick with the westinghouse um like i said a couple disappointments were the exterior you know there's a lot of scratches man a lot of imperfections just right out of the box um you know no hour meter um the fuel display on this one is it's hit or miss doesn't really you know it doesn't really show exactly where it's at because i've looked in the tank and there's been three quarter of a tank and it reads a quarter so it's that was kind of a waste with this unit um but they they, they both have their their, their perks if, if you really only need to use in the realm of 2700 to i'd say maybe 31 at the most 100 watts and you know you can get the predator but if you need more wattage for just a little bit more money and you're able to find a unit that doesn't have the choke problem and you know this this one came with the upside down plug just like you've probably read on all the reviews um it's got the electric choke issue which i haven't had um but both of them right out the box like i said I, this is the third unit of this one that i've gotten of the predator and uh the first two they just they ran freaking horrible ton of metal shavings uh and with the predator on the first oil change the westinghouse wasn't so bad but Take a look at my videos. If you got any questions, let me know. Um, probably going to make a product comparison between these two and a and a bigger generator that we have. We have a Bigson Stratton Elite too, just so you have an idea that there is a, there's a huge difference in, in noise uh, amongst all of them. So, all right, appreciate it.